and welcome to U.S. Government and Politics. My name is Mr. Justin Mayo, and I will be your son or daughter's teacher throughout this journey of learning about the U.S. government. Son or daughter's grade will be broken down in the following manner. The semester grade will be broken down by the term grade being worth 80%. That's the kind of things we do throughout the semester. And then the final exam and civic education piece make up the additional 20%. Your term grade is then broken down into the summative assessments being worth 80% of their overall grade and the formative assessments, the homework kind of things being 20%. It is important to note that all formative assessments must be complete in order to take a summative assessment. Most formative assessments are things we do right there in class, but students can expect a small amount of homework. Please know that if a student misses a summative assessment, they will receive an incomplete in their overall grade. They can redo any summative assessment. They can turn in formatives at any time, but they cannot take that summative until that formative is complete. So please be aware of that. As you're looking at your son or daughter's grades on PowerSchool, if you notice something that looks like this screen here, where their term grade represented by T1 is different than their semester grade located as S1, then you know that your son or daughter did not complete a summative assessment. This is where that semester grade will turn into an incomplete. The term grade remains there so you can kind of see where, how they're doing in regards to uh, uh, completing all their work and how they do when they complete their work. But if for some reason they're absent on a day, they don't get a, a test completed on time, whatever the case may be, they'll have an incomplete there until that, sum that summative is taken care of. Please know that throughout this class, we're gonna be doing a lot of different class discussions and these are going to involve some hot button issues. As you can imagine, there are different viewpoints and we're going to be exploring what both of those viewpoints are. My goal is to make sure that these discussions remain respectful. So please be mindful of the guide rules that we'll be having in place as we start getting into those discussions. Often the, the question I get uh, most often is how as a parent can I help my son or daughter be successful in this course? So I'm gonna go over a few quick things here to, to go ahead and take note of. The first is please make sure that you check PowerSchool and Schoology often. Also, every student has a Google Drive. This is where they actually create their work. There is nothing saying that you cannot be on that Google Drive folder as well. They have already shared that with me, but this gives you a really nice uh, idea as to what kind of work they're doing and the quality of the work that they're actually submitting. Uh, please know that your son or daughter will have a summative assessment every three to four weeks. Those are not always tests. Oftentimes they're going to be projects or speeches, presentations of that nature. And by all means, please feel free to ask them what they're learning and have them explain to you what that means. Please talk to your student about your own political views and ideas about things. Uh, explain why you feel the way you do. We, all, we just got done talking about political socialization and how we develop our own political ideologies based on what our parents uh, and family members say and do. And so talk to them about why you have the feelings that you have. Um, that's going to inform them. That's going to allow them to make uh, even more informed choices as they move forward. If you have any concerns about the class or your student's progress, please feel free to email me as soon as you can. Um, I will always be uh, glad to, to respond back as quickly as I can. And please don't feel that you have to be the expert on content, all right? You, you don't. I know this is a, a difficult time with students being at home, but, they, but it does not have to be. Uh, please, when your student gets frustrated, and I know they're going to get frustrated. I used to see that frustration in class as they're working with a project and struggling to understand and master it. I get it. Please feel free to encourage them to reach out to me. I am still here for them. I'm looking really forward to being your son or daughter's teacher this semester. I am hoping this is going to be a great semester, despite the fact that this is going to be a completely different way in which uh, teaching is done. So please, if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you and have a great night.